Hey guys, so a new jet we got today. I plan on beefing this thing up to make it go over 100 miles an hour. Hopefully faster, we'll see. Uh, I do have a problem with the battery compartment, it's not so large. But let me show you what we got here. Now this jet is a couple years old, it's not a brand new jet. However, there's brand new hardware that we can put into this jet to make it fly a little better than it did when it came out. So what we have here is the aerosol foam Great Plains Synapse. It's a delta wing uh, jet, only two control surfaces, and they're going to work as elevons there. So there'll be your elevator and your ailerons. There's no rudder. It's a hand launched jet. It's a pretty small size, has a nice color scheme. The bottom is black and gray, and the top is mostly yellow and gray. There's some black, of course, too, but pretty easy to tell the uh, orientation. Now, let me show you quick what came out of the box, then I'll go over some problems. First, out of the box, this is the ARF foam only kit. It costs under $30 now. Uh, in the box you get, this looks like a, kind of like a catalog, buy stuff, buy stuff, that's what this is. You get your fan unit and some uh, screws needed to complete the plane. No motor included, just the fan unit. And I think it's a 55 millimeter. Then you get your instructions and your decal sheet. Other than that, you get your jet. Now on the bottom of the jet here, there's a hole in the middle. That's where your ESC wires are going to go, or your wires from your motor to your ESC. And uh, once you get all that in, you're going to put this in place. Pretty sure you're going to glue this in place. So once you got your motor and fan in there, it's going to be hard to do any type of swapping out. So make sure you got the right motor and fan in there, because <coughs> you might not be able to change it out very easy if you glue this in place, which is what I plan on doing. Um, so that's where your motor goes, ESC wires go up there. The two servos, one for each side, goes right here and right here. So there's where your two servos go, only two servos needed for this. I'll probably use E-Flight S75 servos, uh, maybe Park Zone SV80s, we'll see. And then in the front, you have your magnetic hatch, which pulls off. And there's a battery compartment. It is not very big. It looks like this will handle about a 3 cell 2200 milliamp at most. Um, it has a little room in the lid so you can stand your battery on its side and then if it protrudes a little out, the lid will still have space for it. So you're going to have to put Velcro on the side of your battery, not the bottom or the top. <coughs> um, I plan on using just like an 1800 milliamp 3 cell battery and uh, I might use a 1600 milliamp 3 cell battery, I got one of those. <coughs> but I'll be using the, uh, I'm going to be testing out a new fan setup, the E-Flight Delta V 4800 KV on a 3 cell. That's a 3 cell fan unit, it's supposed to be really good. <coughs> I've never tried it before. I've been using the 4000 KV on a 4 cell. So this is more KV, lower cell count. But it, it, it should be a pretty good amount of thrust. It might not be quite as high a top speed, but we'll see. Uh, but we're going to get that put in there. It snaps on pretty tight. I don't really see this being a problem coming off. It holds on pretty tight. But let me show you a few of the problems with this plane or jet. First off, I'll go around the jet. Take a look right here. See that dent? Dent it in. This is brand new out of the box. I just took this out of the box and I noticed all these problems. Big dent in the uh, uh, vertical stab there. More problems. Take a look at this. Right out of the box, it's already peeling off the decal here. Same with the other side, peeling off. Okay, what else we got? Um, the looks of it, just the front looks, the paint just doesn't look very good. I don't know if you can see it, but the paint's just kind of not very smooth. And then, I got a couple more problems. I really don't like their glue job. I don't know if you can see this. You can see glue on either side bubbling up out of the joint. So the glue is kind of just messily done. And then, take a look at the back here. These are very damaged. You see this? There's a crack. One on that side and this side isn't, isn't so good either. So 
right out of the box this thing had some damage now it was packaged pretty good I'm not really sure how it got damaged during shipping but um definitely some damage to it might have been sitting in the box for a year or two like I said this is an older model maybe the heat and then the cold started wearing away at it but um definitely a few little uh you know minor uh I don't know minor appearance issues but nothing major that's going to affect it uh they got carbon fiber rods in the wings that go all the way up almost to the tip now they don't connect through but they are going up to the tips these wings this is how it came out of the box it's all pre-glued on these are glued on wings but this is how it came out of the box so hopefully their stock glue is good because you know you can't take it off and re-glue it so we're going to trust that and it should be good I'm probably going to put a little bit of extra glue holding in this uh, carbon rod here to help hold that on better uh, once I get it all in there but um that's how it came out of the box this is Synapse we're going to be putting a 60 amp ESC uh, uh, E-Flight Delta V 4800 KV motor and fan unit in there and then we'll be using probably an AR500 or maybe an AR6110 receiver and then a 3 cell 16 to 1800 battery and uh, get this thing in the air now this thing it's a feather this thing feels so light it's like I'm not even holding it right now so most of the weight's going to be in the electronics so you do want to keep the weight down and one of the big problems with this plane was, was the CG and the balance of it so I'm going to do a lot of work making sure I got that CG right because I know I have the uh, Great Plains L39 same company that made this and when I hit my battery a little too far forward when I would hand launch it would dive at the ground and then I would be able to correct it just in time and then it would fly okay but it would be a little nose heavy if I move that battery just a little back when I tossed it, it flew straight out and perfect. So that's going to be a big influencing factor on this is where the CG is, getting it perfect. Uh, that's going to really affect the hand launching. So uh, we'll get this built soon so you guys can see it fly. I'm hoping that that E-Flight uh, 4800 KV motor is going to be quick with a 3 cell. Like I said, I've never tried it before. Uh, so we're going to put this up against my L39 and see which one I like better, which one's faster. But uh, there it is, the Great Plains Synapse. And uh, we'll get a built and let you guys see it fly soon.